Hello, welcome to this channel Gain Java Knowledge and today in this video I will be showing you one of the easiest way to create mocked API endpoints using WireMock. So first we will discuss what is WireMock. WireMock that is used to mock your APIs for testing and WireMock is a simulator for HTTP based APIs it is considered as a mock server and it enables you to stay productive when an API you depend on does not exist or is not completed. So today in this video we will learn how to create the simple API endpoint using JSON files and how to test it using Postman. There are different ways to run WireMock but today in this video we will run WireMock running as a standalone process. Ok let's get started. First we need to download the jar file for WireMock. First we will go to this link and this is its official documentation and here we need to search WireMock. So this is a memory dependency that we can also include in our project. But here we are running as a standalone process. So we need to download its jar. So here we can find the link running standalone. So download the standalone jar from here. And this is the empty folder that I, I have created on desktop and I will keep this jar here that we have downloaded from WireMove. So now what we will do? First I will run this jar without adding anything. So when I will run this jar the two new folder will be created automatically here in this folder. One will be the files folder and second will be the mappings folder here we can see there are no folder so when I will run this jar so here we can see two new folders created and our wiremock has started but we have not defined any mappings or any files yet and here we can see it's running on its default port 8080 and we can change its port number also. So now what we will do first I will go to mapping file and inside this mapping file we just need to map our API. So here I will create one JSON file new text document get API dot json so its extension will be json so now i will go and edit here so here first we need to define json sign and uh, that will be inside curly braces and inside this curly braces we need to define our request what will be the url and what type of method we are calling get or post And first we need to define request after that we will define its response so inside request we need to define method type its get or post or put anything we can write so here first we will create get so here I will define get and next we need to define URL pattern and like this we can define get users and if there is anything that is mandatory we need to pass in headers so we can define here headers and inside headers if something is mandatory then we need to define content type 
content type and here we need to define equal to so it is a mandatory field that we need to must pass in a request while we hitting the this api get users so here we can define application json that we need to pass in our headers after completing our request model now we need to prepare our response so what status we are expecting from this api we are expecting here 200 while we are getting this AU response and after we need to define body file name so here we need to define the file name for response get users get users dot json get users 200 json and next we if you want to accept any headers in response then we can define here headers that headers we will get as a response headers and here we need to define content type and that will be application here no need to define equal to because that we are getting in response so no need to match it application json so now what we need to do we need to create this file inside our files folder so here now i will go and here we can see it's empty so here first i will create one file new text document and get this json and open it so here what we are expecting in response we are just expecting list of users and here the name of the user we can define anything abc and here id of the user that is one and we are just defining two fields here and the next we can copy it name and id and just pasting it here and id is 2 and next close it and save this file here we can see we have defined and created the response for our get api and this will be the url now i will go to my postman and hit this url and we'll check it's working fine or not so first i need to open postman so here in postman i have defined url that is get users that we can see here get users and in headers we need to pass application json so here in header we can check i have just added content type is application or json and now we need to stop our server and need to run it again otherwise it is not able to read so here what we need to do here we can change our port so if you want to run on any other specific port number so here what we need to do hyphen hyphen port that is equal to 9090 so now our wire mock will be run as run on port number 9090 so now i will hit get user api and here we are getting the response that is name abc1 and second is karan that we have defined in our json file so we can see here the same response that we have defined here we are getting in on our postman like this we can also create post api request and response so now i will create one more api that will be post type so first i will go to mapping folder and inside the mapping folder here i will create one new file new text document and that will be post api and the extension will be json because we are creating json file so 
so here i will just open this file edit with notepad plus and i have already created the format so here i am just pasting it and in request we are passing method type is post and url pattern is add user and in body pattern we are passing equal to json so we just need to pass name as abc and id will be 123 so if we are hitting this url and if we try to pass different json object then it will not able to get the response we need to just pass name as abc and id will be 123 then only this api will work and in headers we are just passing application json and in response i have set the status is 201 so we will get status as 201 and body file name we will get this response so now i will create the same file in our files folder so we will get as a response so now i will go here and open my file folder and here i will create a new folder new text file and here post user 201 json and add it with notepad plus and here we just need to set what we are expecting in response so here i will just add the name that we are passing as a request abc and also set the id that is one two three so we are just doing the same we are returning from post api so now i will hit and test this api but before testing we need to stop the mock server and restart it again at port number 9090 and now i will go to postman and here we need to change its url that is localhost 9090 and url is add user and method type we need to select as a post and in headers i have passed content type is application json and in body we need to pass only these values name abc and id is 123 now i will hit this endpoint and we will get the response that we have set and the status is 201 created and if we will pass some different value that we have not mapped then it will not send the response properly so request was not matched so we just need to pass the same request that we have mapped okay thanks for watching this video